Assalamu alaikum. Sir, I am a Muslim and therefore I speak under the assumption that the people who follow me, with some exceptions, are also Muslims and therefore I am in my right place to speak. My point to you, sir, is this, that at the start of your uh, well-prepared and well-researched talk, you referred to Jesus Christ as Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. I, as a Muslim, like yourself, believe in Hazrat Isa alayhi salam as a true prophet of God. As your ten talk went on, I got the feeling, perhaps I was alone in getting that feeling, maybe other people who listened to your talk uh, in an open-minded fashion as I did, I tried to do, I got the feeling that at times with due respect, you, you appeared to mock Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, nawzubillah. You appeared to mock his teachings. And therefore, I feel that if that feeling is correct, that in the course of your talk, you have not only, again with due respect, not only contradicted yourself, but also misrepre misrepresented the teachings of Islam, which are to respect all the true Prophets of Allah. What are your comments on this? Sir? Before you move away from the mic, you see, you made an allegation, very serious allegation, that I mocked Jesus. I just want you to give one example. One example. Look, I spoke for more than an hour. Surely you can give one example. Let the people hear what mocking did I do as a Muslim. One, one example. Let them hear. It was, it was generally the attitude that you took. Uh, if I may explain myself, my impression was that uh, Hazrat Isa teachings were true teachings of Allah and Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's teachings were uh, a development of those teachings and an expansion of those teachings as you so correctly said to the world at large. But uh, in, your, the, in the way you delivered your speech, in the way you referred to Hazrat Isa in the course of your speech, there was no particular example as such. But one and a quarter hour, you can't give one example of mockery, but you, you did say that these teachings were incorrect and uh, that... Please quote, please quote. Look, this is hypocrisy of the highest order. When you come forward say you are a Muslim and you are talking with tongue in cheek, and you said there are people who follow you. I don't know what you mean. There are some there are people who follow you. Whether you belong to some new kind of elite, uh, mazhab or what, I don't know. You said people who follow you. I don't know who are the, your followers here. All these are your followers. Huh? No, no, then... Well, you said they follow you. Now, look. You see, this is... You are making mischief, my son. You, you are making mischief. What you have to do is, look, give examples. Now, if you were a Christian, I would have been happy to deal with you as a Christian. Because if you said, I made mockery, I said, this is what the Bible says. This is how the Bible put it. He said, oh, generation of wipers, you whited sepulchers, you wicked and adulterous generation. Now, if that is offensive to anybody, I said, these are not my words. I never spoke like that. I never uttered words to that effect. You see, that you fools, you hypocrites, you brood of snakes. You know who's talking like that? Jesus in the Bible. He says, you brood of snakes, you wicked and adulterous generation. Do you know all that? Do you know that Jesus speaks like that? The Christians say, this is how Jesus spoke. You know, he insulted his mother. He said, woman, what have I to do with you? You know that? So am I making a mockery or is the Bible making a mockery of the man? I want to know. If you were a Christian, I could have asked you, I said, look man, you don't know your own book. I am only quoting you what he's supposed to have said. He said, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. Now you must come forward, the Christian must come forward and say, look, Jesus never said any such thing. I am making a mockery of his religion. I said, look, this is what Jesus said. He said, do not throw that which is holy into dogs. Do not throw pearls before swine. Am I making a mockery of you making a mockery? If you are a Christian, I say you are making a mockery of Jesus. <laughs> this mighty messenger of God, whom we believe that he was born miraculously. Am I right? He was born miraculously as a Muslim we believe, without any male intervention. This book gives us two genealogies of Jesus, Matthew and Luke. 
They give you 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. Now I want to know who's making a mockery, the Quran or the Bible? 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. And out of the two lists given by Matthew and Luke, there's only one name common to the both lists. Joseph the carpenter. And he's not supposed to be there. Because he's not the actual father of Jesus. Am I right? He was a Muslim. But he is supposed to be the father of Jesus Christ. And Luke says so. Luke says, and Jesus happened to be about 30 years of age when he began to preach. Who being the son of Joseph. Who being the son of Joseph. That's what Luke says. In the words are there after that in brackets, as was supposed. And if you ask any Christian scholar, any Christian scholar, what are these words doing in brackets? They will tell you that Luke in his manuscripts, in the Codex Sinaiticus, Codex Vaticanus, Codex Alexandrianus, these words are not there. These are the words of the editors. So Luke said that Jesus is the son of Joseph. As was supposed are your words, man's words. Who is making a mockery of Jesus? The Muslim or the Christian? So you see, you as a Muslim, it was very, very unfair. The unkindliest cut was from you. I would have preferred a Christian to say that, then I could have presented all these things to him.